That's yeah. amazing. I didn't know that's what a three wood was supposed to feel like. This be... feels really good. That one felt good. Okay. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. Hi guys, we are back with another good good extras video and we have a lot we have a lot to announce in today's video. First, we're super excited to announce that we're partnering up with Fujikura. So boys, clap it up for that. Yeah, let's go. Clap it up, clap it up. Um, today we are getting fitted for their shafts and we are getting fitted for the brand new AI smoke. We haven't done that yet, so I'm really excited to do that today. Johnny, you wanna walk us through some things over here? I'd be happy to, so we have a lot to talk about here. So the big platform for Callaway this year is the AI Smart Face. So essentially, usually to make a driver more forgiving, you have to move weight around the perimeter and do all these things to a driver, which increases spin. So Callaway, using AI, figured a way to actually kind of tune the face to not have to manipulate the weight so much around the perimeter of the driver to choose, achieve the same result. So what we have now, we'll start with a max head. This is kind of your fastball down the middle head, but if you look at the face, this face has what they call micro deflections. You can't see them, they're behind the face, but essentially they're kind of, kind of predicting depending on your angle of attack and how you hit the ball, kind of getting the ball, kicking it back online and, and mitigating any upticks in spin or, or, or low spin shots. So what we're seeing so far, which has been really cool out on tour, we're here at the MX Championship, is out of the heel and out of the toe, it's about three to four miles an hour faster across the platform. So for better players, you know, you hit that little Healy cut, you're getting three to four miles an hour ball speed out there and it's regulating the spin. So it's not cranking up in spin. And then out of the toe, you don't have those big nose divers. Essentially, that's what the face is doing. And it, it's for low speed players and obviously tour players are good players like you. So this is your max head. It's the most versatile of the bunch, 460 cc's. It was modeled after a driver that we had only on tour last year. It was called the Paradigm Standard Tour. So you see you got the, this little cog back here that you can move back and forth to kind of dial in. Shot shape, you have your draw setting, your fade setting, you can put it right in the middle to make the center of gravity dead center in the middle. The difference between this and Paradigm, this part used to be in the back, now it's lower to get the CG lower. And then we have a weight forward that you can actually kind of optimize spin a little bit more of that. So this is essentially a tour inspired head now as the kind of the hero, the hero head of uh, the Paradigm AI smoke. And then we're gonna go on to the head that everybody here is pretty much hitting which is your triple diamond head. You know, I'd say 65 to 70% of our tour staff is in the triple diamond head. It's a little bit more fade bias of the bunch. The max head's a little bit easier to turn over, but it's relatively slightly fade bias, a little bit lower spin. But the cool thing about this head and with a carbon fiber chassis is if we move this heavyweight back, it actually turns into a very high MOI tour driver. So most of the players that we have on tour actually have the heaviest weight back because they want spin control and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you can see the shape's a little different, it's kind of a deeper face profile, shorter heel to toe, and this is 450 cc, so it's slightly smaller footprint. And then we're gonna go on to a head that I think is actually kind of the sleeper. It's actually the head that uh, Alex Noren's in right now. It's the Max Draw Head. So this is a true draw head, but what you can do to this, if you're pretty clever with the cog settings and the weight setting, is you can actually make a really, really stable, fast, forgiving, like higher MOI sort of draw head. So instead of the typical draw heads, which are really, really upright and it kind of gets the ball started left. If you open the face on this, you can actually build in just kind of a slight draw. And that's what Alex Noren saw. He could just aim it down the middle, make a normal swing. The ball starts a couple ticks right of the start line and kind of falls to the left. So this is the driver he's actually got in play right now. Theoretically, or usually in the past, Max D would be synonymous with high handicaps. Not anymore. Like this, we have uh, three of these in play on tour this week. This Max, which I, this is the first time I've ever seen that many D heads in play. Uh, so this to me is, kind of the sleeper. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what you guys think of that head. And then quickly with the Fairy Woods, big story here, we have triple diamond and then we have our max head. Max head, like the normal max head and the driver is kind of your fastball down the middle, high launch, mid spin, very easy to get up in the air, really, really fast ball speeds. But once again, it's got the AI smart face. So out of the toe and out of the heel, you're getting a lot of performance. And then you have the deeper face, lower spin, lower launching triple diamond head which a lot of these guys play right now. And then in the five and the seven wood, which we have a seven wood now, hey. uh, they're gonna have bonded hosels as opposed to the adjustability. So the adjustability in these heads is just in the three wood. We found that better players and most players like a bonded hosel on a higher lofted fairway. It just makes it a little bit more stable and you can move the weight around a little bit more. So you're saving the weight with the cog, but obviously awesome products. They look amazing. You guys already have heads. We sent you heads about, I don't know, a month ago. So yeah. you kind of have an understanding of what they do, but that's kind of the tech story of them all. And you know, this in combination with the Fuji Kura shaft should be, should be Money. a ball folks. All right. Coming over here from Johnny Wander. Big thank you for introducing the heads to us. Now we have Spencer from Fuji. Up, How you doing my man? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank he's he's, he's going to tell us some about the shafts. <laughs> I need a lesson on this. I have no clue what they do, but he knows. I do. I'm yeah. excited for it, sir. All right, cool. So, uh, like you said, you guys talked about heads. I want to walk you guys through a little bit of our product. 
Um, first of all, excited to partner with you guys. I think yeah, it's really good stuff. Sure. We want to get you dialed in as best we can. So today, we're going to fit you for drivers, and then also I want to show you guys our Axiom iron shafts as well. Uh, primarily, we're going to focus on Ventus today, and we have a couple different models of Ventus we're going to walk you through, and then we got a brand new Ventus that's coming out in about a week. I'll show you guys ooh. that yeah. too, ooh. and uh, talk to the tech a little bit. So. Uh, as you get fit, I'm going to be floating around a little bit. My man Andrew is going to be fitting you guys, and I'll talk to you through basically what you're hitting, how it works, how we came up with it, and we'll go from there. Thank Perfect. You. Sound Perfect. good? I right, love it. Sure. Let's rock and roll. Let's do, let's do it. What do you want me to start with? What are you hitting right now? I got a five iron. Okay. Are you playing the MB or are you playing the CB? Or are you playing a little I mix? have a mix. So okay. I'm MB, P wedge through six iron. Okay. And then CB, five and four. Five and four, okay. And then I have the Apex Pro three iron, yep. whatever it yep. is. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we got two different weights that we brought out here for Axiom. So we got 125 gram X, which is here in the seven iron here. So obviously something a little bit more at that tour weight, closer to some options that you see a lot of steel parts at. There's kind of a market space for that of, of heavier graphite that can keep up with guys with speed like you. Uh -huh. um, some stability as well, but you know, a really good story with graphite is that the lighter we go, we don't lose any stability. Right? Yeah. And so the cool thing about graphite is when we drop the weight, we're not sacrificing any stability at all. We can make a 105 gram shaft, an X. Yeah. Or with steel, when you add weight or take weight away, that's what kind of creates flex, right? So uh, something that's steel, if you want to make it stiffer, it's got to go heavier. Yeah. And so when you make something lighter, it's going to be softer inevitably. So. If the cool thing with graphite is we can separate those those two, and I think a lot of people will be surprised at how stable that 105X is. And, and you've already been hitting it; it's been feels amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's and I mean, you know, weight's almost more of a timing thing at this point. And sometimes, you know, when you guys are playing on some buddy strips for a week, two weeks straight or so, yeah. you know, those 125Xs start to feel like telephone poles for the end of the yeah. round, right? So no, they do. Um, 105X has been really popular so far. Um, but obviously we're let's let's hit a couple and we'll see where we net out. All right, cool. Here, let's start with the seven iron here. This is my exact head, the MB, as you guys know. Graphite shaft. Let's see how it feels. I've already been hitting it, so I like it. Alright. Let's <laughs> do it. Yeah. That's that's a pretty easy yes for me. Uh, in terms of ball flight, what do you like to do? You like to I mean, that move it very much? I mean not really. I, I Especially with my irons, I would like to just say, you know, give me a straight shot and I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. That was perfect. Yeah, those Everything are, those are perfect numbers right there. Money. That's our big story, right? With with driver shafts, a lot of times when you're doing a fitting, it's kind of a home run derby. You want something super fast. You want it to go as far as possible. With an iron shaft, that's different, right? And so, yeah, I'm not worried about this. Exactly. All right, this will be a good test. That was a little missed hit. Yep. I want to see what this did. It's okay. not bad, I like that. Yeah. Ball speed's not far off. No. The big thing is, right, so Axiom is our first graphite shaft with Velocore technology. And so Velocore was kind of the secret sauce that made Ventus really good. Mm -hmm. And so essentially what, it, what that is, it's just a full length material bias core. So it's full length material at plus or minus 45 degrees. Yeah. Really, really making a stable, stable platform. Um, also while having something that feels really good as, at the same time. And so yeah. we're able to integrate that into our Axiom line as our first iron with Velocore technology. Um, and so far we're seeing really good gains in speed, but also, like I said, with an iron shaft, we want something that's tight north and south dispersion wise, because right. we're trying to hit specific numbers. We're not so wanting a seven iron that goes 200 yards. Although I know I've seen Bubby do it before. My, my biggest thing is I just want to see a nice ball flight that yeah. I have. Because I'm such a field player. Yep. So like the way that that's launching is what I want to see. Yeah, yeah. And that's really important, right? We get our irons hitting the windows that we want. Exactly. Oh, that one's a bad shot. It's all right. We're not going to hit them perfect every time. But again, that's a good time to check in. So, right, we're a little spinny. Maybe it was a little bit low. Yeah, but I mean, still carrying 177. Well, I mean, is what I like and then to look see. at the ball speed it didn't drop a ton either. Yeah. Right? And so we're seeing that really stable platform all the way across the face because of the core and stability and low torque. In terms of feel, what is this kind of feedback wise giving you? It feels, am I crazy to say this? It feels soft, but in a good yeah. way. Yeah, no, that's, 
A lot of people have said that, but it's you know obviously saying? very stable. Like on the miss hit, I think it felt a little more, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. It's kind of hard feeling. Too. Kind of like a, maybe like a vibration dampening almost. Maybe, or yeah. yeah. That could be it. Okay. I've never really hit a graphite and an iron. Yeah. I kind of like the way it feels. Yeah, that's nice there. Perfect spin numbers there ball speed's great mm -hmm. let's uh let's hit the five iron in that 105x let's give that a try now so one we were just hitting a 125x in the seven iron obviously something a little bit some that garrett's used to a little bit heavier weight it's in that mb head so now we're going to the cb head and it'll be hitting a 105x it'll be dropping about 20 grams perfect yeah i want it that's money that i that felt amazing i'm not even kidding that was amazing yeah so even i mean dropping 20 grams in total weight at least in the shaft are you feeling like you're not really losing any stability at all, no, not at all. 140 ball speed with five iron spinning at 4800 that's, that's money kind of a bad swing but still felt good still 142 and a half ball speed 5100 spin 208 carry yeah, and so we're not losing like i said even dropping that 20 grams where traditionally people say oh i, I like 105 grams is too light for me because it's not stable enough we're still seeing you're able to it's it's able to keep up with your swing slightly miss hit but still i mean we're I like gonna take launch. that nine times out of ten no i love that launch yeah i love that let's launching you, higher yeah than i would normally yep. see and so Which I like. what we've seen with, with Axiom is that the ball will launch a little bit higher, but we're adding more speed. And so we're increasing launch, we're increasing spin, but we're also increasing speed. So we're not necessarily losing distance because it's launching higher, spinning more. We're seeing a lot tighter averages because we're adding more control through that launch and through that spin. And so, and you can see with like a good player like yourself, it's a lot easier to take spin off than it is to add spin. And so we're giving you just the tools to go ahead and just shape the ball however you want. Or if you want to hit a dead straight shot like that, you're good to go. Yeah. Um, let's hit the uh, let's hit the 125x in the in that MB there. I know you you said you're in a CB, but let's give this 125 a try in that that long this iron. Is this is back to that same weight you hit in that seven iron. I like the lighter feel. Okay. I, I can already I could already tell you right now yeah. that this is gonna be what I want. Okay. Yeah. Just like it's one of those like as soon as I got in my Yeah. Because I told you I'm such a feel player yeah. and like maybe for the timing of my swing yeah. or Correct. something. hundred percent. Yeah. Having a lighter feel. Feels shaft. like you're getting here and just feels like you got a telephone pole or a sledgehammer that you're just trying yeah. to get through. 100%. I just can't time it up as yeah. well for me. Obviously with lighter weight we're gonna be able to pick up some club head speed, right? But we're not sacrificing any stability and so if we can pick up some speed and keep control and stability, then I think that's a recipe for some, some low scores out there. Yeah, yeah done. <laughs> that's easy. That's amazing. 188 carry. 188 at carry. We're still at 6,800 spin, right? And so we're right in that spin window that we needed to be at. That launch in that same window that you like to see again. We're 133 on the dot with your ball speed and I, so I know what I'm going for but I want to hit another shot okay so good. yep that's so good yeah that's so good I felt like I swung easier at that and it's still carrying 190 yeah yep all right yep let's put him in the back perfect. Done. I'm not even just I'm not even kidding that's actually crazy for me because I've never I've never had this light of a shaft in my hands ever and I think this is actually gonna help my game a ton the way that those balls are launching is something I've literally never seen in my golf game, ever. Do you have a 10.5 triple dot yeah, or no? Yeah, That's what I meant. That's what Sweet. I was going to ask you yeah. next. Was what, do you know what you the guys. setting off the top of your head is? No, neutral. Okay, neutral. Standard. Standard. Perfect. Yeah. Did I already have this shaft? I want to say maybe yeah, I, think I had this a is similar what, This is one. what you had. So we're going to hit this one. So we got you what we think is close to probably what your, your current gamer setup is. So we got a 10.5 triple diamond AI smoke in Ventus Blue 6X. So this is the original Ventus Blue. I love that fade. What I've been okay, trying. So a little bit different than irons. You like to maybe see something that's moving a little bit more off the tee? Yeah, I don't. I like being able to work a fade with my driver. Okay. That's what I've been trying to get to. I feel like hitting a fade off the tee is more consistent. Yeah, so. yeah, 100%. I liked the way that launched. 
Okay. That was nice. Yep. That's money. Is this a fade biased? Yeah, so the triple diamond head will be a little bit more fade biased. That's kind of what the head we're seeing on tour. Um, probably about 60% of Callaway staff is playing that head like Johnny mentioned earlier. Just what you were talking about, you like to see. So that one, ball speed 174 and a half, launched at 8.5, 2800 spin, 288 in the air. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's so good. I love that. Yeah, 176. Launched at 8.3, spun at 2,300, 2.93 in the air. All right, let's have you hit the brand new one. This is our brand new Ventus for uh, for 2024. Yeah. We got VeloCore Plus technology in that. We'll have you hit it. We'll talk about it a little bit after. Try not to bog you down with too much of the, the details right now. A little bit of new paint job. Decal's a little bit different. Something new, but something familiar all at the same time. Right. Obviously looks very good with all your, all the good, good gear. That's kind of cool. 175, little jump in speed there. That's really good carry for that ball speed. Yeah. Really good. Let me see if I can get a little faster here. I mean, even miss hit, still 172 ball speed. What's different about this? The tech's been retooled, so we call that VeloCore, VeloCore Plus technology. So what that essentially means is we talked about what VeloCore actually is, stability platform, combination of full-length materials. We've integrated a third material into uh -huh. that entire overall structure, but we also increase the tonnage and enhance the values of the original materials that are using it. So what you feel as a player is essentially just a tighter feeling. Uh -huh. So sometimes players in, in our world, we, we are very keen about how we describe tighter. things. So okay. people always say it's stiffer. It's not, it's not stiffer, it's tighter. And what you're feeling is the enhancement of those materials is bringing in your dispersion that much tighter. And gotcha. then we're incorporating a third material to give you better feel. Gotcha. So anytime we increase tonnage of material, we can increase stability, but we don't want to sacrifice the feel of the shaft. So uh -huh. we come up with a recipe of materials to give you feel. And what you see with this profile is it's faster, it's a little bit straighter, the launch and spin is very, very close to the original, mm -hmm. and feel is the same as the original, just a little bit tighter. So it's just an improved That's overall it structure. It's okay. very much the same DNA as what you're used to, it's just an upgraded, updated version. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So I hit a few more. That makes sense. Cool. Launching at 10 degrees, that carried 300. So obviously something that's falling a little bit left is gonna spin a little less, and 1900 there. I do like one thing. I felt like I haven't had many good swings with this mm -hmm. yet, but that's on me. Yeah. And it's still flying yeah. very nicely. Yeah. And it, the dispersion's not far. It's consistent. I'll hit one more. That's it. I love that. 289 in the air. It's pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's great. How does it feel? It feels good. Okay. I, it feels really good. I'm just curious based off numbers and whatnot, yep. what you're thinking. If I can get that launch up a little bit, uh, how did you hit that one? Pretty solid. Okay. Let's get that launch up a hair. I mean, so we've already got the weight in the back. So I got a 14 gram weight in the back, two gram in the front. And so what's that? what that's gonna help us do is get a little bit more launch, a little bit more spin, um, in increase our MOI. So give us a little bit more stability and forgiveness by adding that weight in the back. Gotcha. Um, if we ever get to a point where we need to reduce spin, that's where we're going to put all that weight in the front. Gotcha. I don't think, I'm. if anything, I'm the type of guy who needs a little more spin. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And most people do, you know, most people, until you see, you know, a player that hits it straight up in the air, they don't realize that no one ever really does spin it too much and hit it too high. That's better for me. Yeah, now we're launching at 12, and so we just went from that same about same ball speed, right? Where we launched it at eight and a half and spun at 25. Now we're at 12.3, spun at 27. That just carried 301, yeah. right? Even on an up and out of swing, like you said, we're still getting a little more distance out of it. <laughs> That's it. That's so good. That's the one I want to see yep. right there. Yep. Yeah. 177 ball That's speed. That's perfect. Spin dropped a little bit. Not too bad. It's still able to control it a lot, right? And so we went 305 in the air there. So I'm liking this. I like this plus one setting for you. Yeah, I think we found our winner. I like it. N plus one right there. That's money. So 10.5 triple diamond went to neutral plus one and the new Ventus blue 6X with Velocore Plus. Uh-huh. It's money. Perfect.
I love it. Are we doing a three wood or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do three wood. What are you uh what are you playing right now? I have a paradigm. Okay. I have a fifteen degree paradigm. Fifteen degree, uh is it the triple diamond or is it the I believe so. Whenever I do a three wood fitting, I like to ask a player, what do you normally use this for, right? Is it something more you use off the tee, something you use off the deck, or kind of fifty fifty? I want to use this off the deck. Okay. That's why it's set to hot yep. a little yeah, higher. It's at the, the plus two, hundred percent. Right. To be honest, I think I do need a fitting for my three wood. Though. Okay. I mean, ball speed's crazy. Like this yeah, thing that's... goes a little too far, if anything. Yeah. So already, I'm just seeing 2,400 spin. That's lower than our driver, right? Exactly. And so if you're trying to use this off the deck, there's no. Uh, uh, you're gonna have a hard time stopping that on a green, right? Exactly. I'm actually glad I'm getting fit for a three wood because out of everything, I think I need a three wood fitting the most. Uh, it's not it's not a bad thing or anything. I just I know that there's more potential that I can get out of yeah. the AI smoke. So I think what we're seeing too with you know going plus, you're, we're adding two degrees of loft. A lot of times, what happens is we're shutting that face as well. So you're not going to be able to be able to really stop a ball hitting a draw to yeah. either. And so you're let's, right. Let's get you in. A, we're gonna, let's start with the, the high launch. So we're already at 16.5, right? Yeah. We're just gonna go the same one, and we're just gonna go 70 grams. So we're gonna go up 10 grams. Uh-huh. And we'll just start you on neutral standard. We got a 16.5 uh -huh. AI smoke three wood, the high launch one, the max. So if we're trying to get a little bit more spin, we'll start here. Neutral standard and the new Ventus Blue 7X, so up 10 grams from your driver, and then Velocore Core Plus. Cool. Let's I give like that, it. Let's give that a try. Why, why the up 10 grams? And so usually just with when we're trying to get overall weight and swing weights and stability, especially with the three wood, if we have a 60 gram shaft in your three wood, it just starts to feel a little bit timing wise weird right. and light. And so if we can get that overall weight. Yep, I'm in. <laughs> and so in terms of spin, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's a little high on the spin side, to be honest which is something that you you haven't seen. And so we'll keep, we'll keep, I mean, that was, that was great. We'll keep, we'll keep working at it's it. That feeling thing. I'm not even kidding. That was amazing. Okay. Maybe the, I, that was amazing. That's exactly what I want to feel right Okay. So like thing. you said though, you're trying to hit something that stops and stops on a green, right? Something that's spun at 2,400, like you're hitting before. We're going to have a really hard time stopping that for trying to hit a par five and two. Yes. Yes. I'm getting it. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not even kidding because I'm such a field player. I do not want to change right. this. No, at that's all. perfect. 2,800. That's, that's <laughs> money. That that's is money. like the best feeling thing right. ever. Easy. You make that's my job amazing. a lot easier. I think I'm going to go hit this on the range for the next like 30 minutes while everyone else does their fittings because this is unreal. Yeah. A, a three wood that you can properly control, especially in a par five, that's going to be money. You're going to be dropping a lot of a lot of big birds oh on a scorecard gosh yeah that's yeah. amazing i didn't know that's what a three wood was supposed to feel like that's what it's supposed to do let's take a look at what you've got going right now this was self-built that was okay for this and i was playing the paradigm it was an eight degree drop one so i was playing a seven degree paradigm yep. with that this is nine drop one eight degree this thing i've noticed is spinning two to three hundred rpm too much okay with the uh, whatever i got set up in here Okay. Yeah, so that is a Ventus TR. So the original line of product was Ventus Blue, Red, and Black. They're all different profiles. So the blue is kind of a mid-launch, low spin. The red is a higher launch, higher spinning option. It's not high launch and high spin, it's just higher than the others. And the black profile is very stiff throughout, it's lower launch and more spinning. So we did the same thing with TR, but TR's got a little extra juice under the hood. So you can actually see in this midsection right here, you see that kind of carbon weave pattern that yeah. runs right yeah, in yeah. there? That actually is material and it's what we call spread toe fabric, and it's this ultra lightweight, ultra strong material. We put it in that section because when a player goes into transition and starts to move the club down in their downswing, that's where we can see a shaft take a lot of bend take because a lot of bend. there's yeah. a lot of change in direction. So what we do there is we, we kind of add that material to stiffen that part up so you feel less kind of kick and give during the transition. Just makes it a little bit more stable overall. Like and it's a little lower launching and a little lower spinning than the original. So you kind of have the Ventus blue, red, black, and you have TR blue, red, black. And each TR version is just a stiffer, lower launching, okay. lower spinning of the original. Anything so what you have is the lower spin. one. Yeah. Low spin sounds good to but me. But the cool thing is uh, we have different options for you, different profiles. So if you like something that's a little bit stiffer in the handle section, we find out that's a good fit for you. Yes, sir. We also have Ventus Black, which is stiff in the handle section. And even our Ventus Red is kind of stiff in the handle section. So you're going to get to feel some different things. 
I know a lot of players say they don't think much about the shaft. Like, yeah. yeah, it feels okay. It's good. My fitter said it's good, which is great. But it's it's just kind of a little bit of taste test, right? When you hit okay. them all side by side, you're gonna see some cool differences. So start with that guy. Perfect. And we'll work through it. I love it. Thank cool. you, my man. If you just want to grip it and rip it, yeah. From a shaft perspective, I'd love to give you as much stability as possible. I would love that. You know, so I get that you're not going to go 120 percent all the time. Yeah. But when you do. We got something that can hold up to it. So I'm gonna switch out a little bit. So this is the TR Black. This is probably the most stable slash stiff part that we make. We make it all the way up to 80 grams. Um, we're gonna put you at a 70. And what you're gonna feel is basically the same thing you kind of feel here is going on with this profile as well. It's just gonna be stiffer throughout. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Uh -huh. That's beautiful. It feels more stable. It really does. I like that. More weight, more stability for yeah. me just yeah. makes a lot more sense. I'm not going to lie, I've never really felt the difference between shafts because I'm not that good. It's like, just give me something. I'll swing it. Don't spin too much. This one at the top, you feel how stable it is. Hey, look at me. How you doing? Hey, guys, how we doing? You're calling. I am. A little taller, actually. Steven, nice yeah. to meet you. Andrew, yeah. how you nice doing, to meet you. Good, how I like you? the mustache. Tell me what to do, and I'll do it. I mean, it's, it's a little bit, it's not the head that you're currently playing, but I want you to tell me how this shaft feels compared to the last one that you just hit. That one felt good. Okay. That's money. Yeah, perfect. So it's heavier and we're just getting a little more stability out of it. You're able to time it a little bit better. I think with the lighter weight, maybe it was just- Yeah, it's just almost it. like you didn't really know where it was because it was light, right? Yeah. And so in terms of weight, we're just like gonna find something that times well with you. So I like this. I see a 125X, that's money. I like this. How's it going? Andrew. Andrew, Luke. Nice, nice to meet you. Me. I like how this shaft times with you though, yeah? Right. Feels pretty good. I, th I mean, I have no, I don't, I don't feel any difference with shafts, honestly. Yeah. Okay. I just see like trajectory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shaft has two different ways that it bends, right? Okay. So you got bending stiffness, yeah. and then you got torsional stiffness. Yeah, okay. So this has just got a new material, really high, uh, it's a spread toe material, so it's really high mod. Essentially, it's just, it's really light, it's really stiff. But, yeah. uh, it'll lower the overall torque, it'll feel stiff, okay. stable. I kind of always wanted a red one because it looks sick, but I don't have any clue what these shafts do. I don't know if I feel a difference, but I see the difference. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I see yeah, it. yeah. Still a little low on the spin side, nine degree launch, 20, 2,000 spin. Nine's a little low on the launch, right? Yeah, a little bit. We're gonna add a little loft here. We're gonna go back to that N plus one setting that you were on. Okay. 10 degrees of launch, 2,600 spin, 304 in the air. That's pretty good. What is actually different though? Because I feel like I could maybe start creeping into some weird swing habits. Okay, yeah, so because the handle section's a lot stiffer. Well, what happens when it's stiffer at the handle? It just, it just, it might change your timing specifically with how you feel. You might not actually feel something. Like you said, you might not feel it. Right. But in terms of how your swing reacts, you could change. I might start like whipping it a little harder. Yeah, you might pull down a little faster. Your timing might change, so. We're getting some low launch with not a ton of spin, and yeah. we're just seeing it kind of fall out of the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get a little bit higher, a little bit more launch. We're seeing that carry number kind of come right. up a little bit more, and a little I more noticed. spin is more control. I noticed that. Right? Yeah. And so, thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Move back and forth. That's what I do. I did lose maybe a little bit of distance. These are obviously these are the heavier ones. So it kind of like forces me to slow my tempo down a little bit. I lose just a tad a bit of distance, but the consistency on my distances has been a lot better. So I'm gonna let you in on a cool little secret about graphite. The best analogy I can give you is, is kind of like steel iron shafts, right? So with steel shafts, generally speaking, as they get heavier, they get stiffer. And you can't really have too much of one without the other. Mm -hmm. What we can do in graphite is we can stretch that relationship pretty far. Yeah. And that's where you can have like 50 gram X flex shafts or you can have 90 gram R flex shafts. Yeah. So we got a little more wiggle room with that. So what we do is we create this really stable benchmark. And then we can work on different weights, different flexes, and that's where it's more tempo based, player based, speed based. So we have an ability to have a really stable shaft throughout, and now we're just dialing it into you. So I bring that up because you're playing 125, and we're gonna look at 105. What a lot of players have noticed is just because it gets lighter doesn't mean it gets softer. So it's still gonna feel every bit as stiff. It's still an X-Flex, just like yours is, but you're gonna start to feel differences in tempo and timing, and the good thing is, you can have an ultimately stable and stiff product that holds up to your golf swing. At the end of 18 holes, you don't feel like you gotta go lay in an ice bath for two hours. Okay. So we're gonna drop you in weight. Okay. And your concerns about that are potentially a little bit too much launch and spin? A little too high, a little too spinny, I'm thinking. Yep, okay, let's go. Definitely feel the lighterness. Yeah, 175, it was close. I purposely tried to slow down my tempo. I purposely tried to feel 
because I know it's a little bit lighter. Yep. So I'm purposely trying to feel that set top, like feel like I'm pausing for like- Feel that transition? Yeah, yeah. and then come down to it. So the question I was gonna ask you is between the two, yes, it feels lighter. Does it feel any less stiff or stable? No, it does not. So here's what I would ask. Do you feel like that tempo change is something you would want to do or is repeatable or is it too much extra thought? I think you could easily play either one. The question is going to be, is that something you want to commit to? Is that something you want to feel? Or is that too much thinking you just want to go, go hit it? I want to hit this one. I want to try that. I'm going to try that same okay. tempo. I'm going to try that same tempo. I knew I was going to like these two when I was talking to the guy. You know, they won 125s. I was like, yeah. I'm going to love 105s. Yeah. I have a feeling. And I do. Switch to those? Yeah. I think I got to switch to these 100%. Feels better off the face. My tempo's lined up. It feels great in the backswing. I feel like I'm not losing anything. Thank you, brother. I really love them. Axiom, the graphite shaft, 125X. This feels really good. Yeah, the graphite shaft, which I've never hit before, ever in my life in an iron. Like we were talking about graphite shafts. I would think in an iron, it'd probably want to go left, probably hook left, but the way they build this, it feels freaking amazing. Like that one, when I hit it, I thought it'd probably be like 10, 15 yards left. Turned down a little bit, like you probably see me hit a lot on the videos, and actually cut back and it's like three yards left of the target. Great ball flight to it. And I know Garrett was saying earlier, it just has like a, like a softer feel to it. Just like, a, it has a really good feel to it, like through the ground. It's kind of hard to explain. This might be a gamer, obviously, what we were just talking about, kind of to get on the course, see how it feels once you hit shots into greens and at flags, but just off the range so far, it feels, I mean, I haven't really missed a shot yet. It feels, it feels really nice, so. It's a good thing. Yeah. It's a winner. Yep, yes, nice. sir. Thank you. So what we're working on right now is finding the right, what do we say, we, we're trying to find the right weight, weight stiffness, flex, and profile. Yes, with the driver. My preference when I'm hitting driver is I like to see the ball move left to right rather than right to left. I feel like I have a little bit more control over it. So what we're working on right now is getting that tempo dialed in with the right shaft, and then we can make adjustments to the head if needed. This is Ventus Black. This was probably the stiffest, most stable profile of me. Okay. Then we came out with this. This is a Ventus Black TR. What we basically did here was we incorporated extra material. You can actually see it right yeah. there. Yeah. And when a player moves into transitions, that's when you go into your downswing. This area of the shaft can be susceptible to excess bend or excess motion. Okay. We don't want that to happen because we don't want the shaft to get off plane. Right. So especially for higher ball speed players, when you start coming down to the ball aggressively, that shaft needs to stay as stable as possible so you can keep it on plane and through impact. So this is what that does. It's basically an overall slightly stiffer, lower launching, lower spinning version of what you hit. I love the 70 grams for you for tempo. X-Flex is just fine. I just want to try something that has just a little bit of extra tightness for lack of a better term. Yeah. And just see what it does. Okay, let's try it out. Yep, there it is. All right. How does it feel compared to the other one? A little different feel? To be honest, where I think I felt it the most is when I got a little bit closer to impact. Yeah. I feel like that one maybe had a little bit more kick, yeah. whereas that one was a little bit more stable. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Um, I like it. TR Black 7X. Sign me up. Let it rip. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're gonna wrap it up now. Shout out to Fujikura. We just obviously partnered up with them and I'm super excited. A lot of us have already been playing vintage shafts in our drivers and stuff like that. I got heavier irons, uh, iron shafts, so that should be interesting. Hopefully it slows down my swing at the top a little bit. I don't know, fingers crossed. <laughs> but Steve's, Steve likes a little heavier shaft. I got a uh, pretty much a telephone pole put in my driver, which is exactly what I want. They fit me very well. Got the Ventus Black 7X. It's a savage shaft. I'm happy with it. Best shafts in the game, y'all. Also shout out to Callaway, the AI smoke the new AI smoke three wood and driver especially for some reason dude like I've never had a three wood that I can hit and just feel good about I felt really good about the uh, AI smoke three wood as well as obviously the driver stay tuned for more content on the extras channel yeah good good Fuji Kuro shaft coming soon I'm excited for that a good Fuji